What's up everyone, welcome back to my top 10 setups of the day series. Before we get started, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel to see more of these amazing setups. Alright guys, just before we start the video, I would just like to say thanks to all the new subscribers. The channel's been doing really good lately and I've not even been posting, so sorry about that. I'm going to start trying to post a little bit more often from now. Anyways, to start off our list on a high note today, we've got this amazing work from home setup from Sailor Bus. That floating monitor is an LG 34WK500 and it's next to a mounted 2018 16 inch MacBook Pro. Below the monitor and laptop, we've got a Keychron K8C3 wireless keyboard with Cherry MX Brown switches and a Logitech G Pro wireless mouse. The large black slab beneath the monitor is a Sonos Beam. And for other audio options, they've also got a Razer Black Shark V2 Pro. This tech is all sitting on a fully Jarvis stand-in desk. And although it isn't in the photo, they've also got a fully Luna chair. The PC on the right is a Corsair IQ220T case with an Intel Core i9-10850K CPU an Asus Prime Z490-8 ATX LGA1200 motherboard and an EVGA GeForce RTX 2070 video card. And not to flex on anyone, but recently I managed to get a 3080, nice little upgrade for my 2070 and uh, yeah, it's, it's a dream, honestly. Not only does this setup seem like a calm and productive place to work, but the bay window in the background provides a ton of lovely natural light that really makes the whole area seem very nice and peaceful. Our next setup comes to us from India Waterfield, who's made this setup after finally making the switch over to PC gaming. One of the most eye-catching things about this setup is that super unique and sturdy looking desk, which is a Mystic Pine worktop. I don't think we've actually seen this brand of desk before, but the natural wood looks really stunning, to be honest. On this amazing desk, you can see a Corsair keyboard and what appears to be a Corsair mouse. In the PC on the right, the OP has got an NVIDIA 3080 GPU. Ah, yes. Well, I wonder how they managed to get it because it's still so hard to get. It's incredible. To say it's the OP's first steps into PC gaming, they're clearly off to a great start and they've got a fantastic setup. Coming in at number eight today, we've got this super unique setup from Bowser. Just kidding, lol. This setup's got a very nice and antique feel, I feel like. They've got a slick triple monitor setup it uses three LG 27UD68-W monitors with a unique combination of a horizontal monitor and two vertical monitors. I actually quite like this and I was considering doing something similar myself. Um, but I'm not sure. I'm still waiting for a nice 4K gaming monitor to come out and then I'm going to make the switch to a triple monitor setup. Anyways, for peripherals, they've got a new Fi keyboard, which we've not seen on these lists before, and a novel keys desk pad. This is all powered by a 13 inch MacBook Pro connected with a single USB C. The super unique and eye catching chair is a human scale sumo chair that looks fantastic paired with the warm red desk and the drawers to the right. This next setup from Benjamin Nin is certainly eye catching. Oh my god, that name. It's really cool to see a setup taking advantage of an A frame room. It also helps accentuate how unique that desk really is. The desk is made out of three Linmon tabletops, two Kallax storage shelves, 16 Nipset baskets and two Gerton desk legs. The large desk provides plenty of space for the fun variety of decorations and a decently large Acer monitor and a Dell laptop. I would like to have been able to see a little bit more of the gear that's blocked by the chair but overall this is a really nice and clean setup. In 6th place today, we've got this super warm, fun and cosy setup from Andy Pandy. To start off, they're using the Mason Taylor sit-stand desk with a nice natural wood top. On the desk, they've got a mounted Gigabyte G27Q Ultra HD 144Hz IPS monitor, a mounted Lenovo T490 ThinkPad laptop, a Keychron K6 with brown switches and an MX Master 3 mouse. And then on top of that, they've also got a Logitech G304 mouse. The keyboard and mouse are all nice sitting on a large HP Omen 300 mousepad. The thing that I really like about this setup is the lighting and it really elevates this setup. There's a fantastic warm desk light and then they've got a cool red LED that's backlighting the desk. This is all paired really nicely with that blue neon lightning bolt sign. 
At the halfway point on our list today, we've got this cyberpunky feel RGB heavy setup from Syntergy. They've got a super slick four monitor setup that's made out of three Aorus 144p monitors, and then they've even got a 4K Asus monitor. We've got another electric standing desk today, and this time it's holding a Corsair K70 rapid fire, a drop control keyboard custom, a Razer Def Adder Elite mouse, a Logitech Wireless Superlight X, and then they've got three different pairs of headphones, including some Sony WH-1000XM3s, Bayer Dynamic DT-1770s, and SteelSeries Arctis 7s. Under the desk is the Office PC, which is an Asus 3090 Strix GPU, an AMD Ryzen 5900X, and an Asus Dark Hero X570 motherboard, all held inside a Fantex MFU Evolve case. My only real complaint about this setup is that the PC is basically just sitting on the carpet, which you know, dust and everything, I personally wouldn't want to do it. It'd be nicer if it was elevated on a shelf or a stand or something like that, just to keep it off the carpet really. The next setup on our list today comes from It's Milk Tea. It's one of the most calming and lo-fi feeling setups that we've got on the channel today. This desk theme setup includes a Rama M65 keyboard with custom GMK botanical keycaps and a Logitech mouse, both of which are sitting on a GMK botanical desk mat. The GMK botanical products paired with the actual plants dotted around the photo work really well together and it adds a very nice natural touch to the tech. Overall, the best part of this is that the whole build is one of my favorite parts of the build in this setup is that amazing Asahi neon sign. The white light keeps the whole area nice and bright whilst adding a nice touch of RGB. This next setup on the list is a, it's a very cosy one actually. The desk is, it's a super gorgeous natural wood and shockingly it's actually just IKEA Kali desktop. On it we've got a Dell monitor next to some Edifier speakers, a Basilisk Ultimate mouse and a Red Dragon mouse pad. The warm light from the screen bar and the salt crystal lamp really helped make this setup seem really cosy and inviting. That being said, I'm not too crazy about the bright colours coming from the RGB, and I'd prefer if it was just set to orange or red to match the salt lamp. Next up on our list today, we've got this super high quality setup from Cocentrix. This setup's got this amazing desk which was custom made, and it's got an amazing industrial feel to it. The ultra wide monitor elevated on a desk shelf not only looks fantastic, but it also helps keep the rest of the desk feeling clean and spacious. The unique PC on the right is a Dark Flash DLM21 case, which is one that we've not seen on these lists before, but I've got to say I actually really like that design. Overall this is a completely stunning setup that's amazingly well photographed. Last but certainly not least is this stunningly futuristic lo-fi setup from Al Mohada Sama. On that shiny white desk you can see a pair of Edifier speakers flanking the floating monitor, a Logitech mouse and a Silverstone Farah R1 case for the PC on the right. The blue LEDs backlighting the monitor and the desk give it a great futuristic glow, especially when paired with the shiny white peripherals. The minimalistic decorations lend to this feeling whilst also making this seem like a great workstation to be productive at. And that's the end of the list today. Uh, check out the description for a list of a lot of the gear that I've mentioned in the video. If you want to see more of these incredible setups, make sure you just hit the like button and subscribe with notifications on so that you don't miss the next episode. Leave a comment down below on which setup you think should have been number one on today's list. The channel's been doing really great. I do appreciate all of the views, the subscribers, the likes, the comments. So just keep it coming and I'm going to try and post a little bit more often. Take care guys.